<laughs> that, that discussion clearly is still going on. Welcome, welcome back. You're watching uh, Chetche. We're talking about the way forward, uh, which way forward for Kenya. Keep talking to us. The hashtag is Chetche on Twitter. You can text us on double two four. Uh, double two will take a look at your feedback uh, again uh, shortly. Norman, you're saying uh, you're still sticking to that. If the dialogue is to be held, or if there are any talks to be held, there must, they must be, the parameters should be the issue of elections only. You There's no other way you're going to talk. You see, you said one thing we must accept in this country is that if we sweep these questions of credible polls under the carpet and, and, and get into uh, some sort of uh, 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 kangaroo government uh, of, of a coalition, we'll still be in the same place in 2022. Mm. I think we must use this opportunity to sort out this monster of ensuring that we have a system that guarantees a free fair election. We will be more than happy to go into an election, lose fairly, congratulate the winners, and take up opposition benches for the next five years. We are more than happy to do that. But we, what we don't want is to be walked into a dialogue where you're operating at, 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 at a period of merely sweeping things under the carpet so that you get into a, a, a coalition of convenience. Uh, it will appear like the quest for leadership in this country is driven by nothing but being in government. Mm. And that is not what we represent. I think we have ideals that are in direct contrast with what Jubilee is. And we are far much better and comfortable and willing to ride this horse, fight for reforms, initiate a resistance movement for as long as it takes, rather than get into a coalition of coalition. How will the, well, with, how will the with, resistance with, movement with, 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 operate? With, with, with the Jubilee. Can you explain what, what, how it operates? The constitution has your answer, Mutegi. It is, it is, not, it's, it is, it is not anything outside the constitution. This constitution allows for disobedience, it allows for mass demonstration, it allows you to boycott goods. These are all rights that are set out in the constitution. And resistance has tools. And we will know how we deploy these tools on a need-to-need -need basis and be able to move this uh, process forward. But what we must close in 2017 is we must put a mark down that we are only going to have elections that are free, fair, and credible and that are in co conducted in strict accordance with the constitution. Let us not go into elections. We allow somebody to steal elections after stealing. Then he tells you, I'm extending a hand of friendship. Which friendship when you have stolen? Your hands are tainted. You cannot offer a hand of friendship on a, on a hand that is flowing with blood of, of, of Kenyans that have been killed because you have stolen an election. So, and this is something we are not willing to walk into. And okay. I've told you, we are more than ready. For, for we are more than ready to stay in the trenches and fight for what we think is just for this country, rather than get into a coalition of convenience. For so record, we are not interested in any form of... But just for the record, yeah, you're with, with but with just for the record, I mean, uh, IBC bungled the election according to the Supreme Court. They mm. didn't find any problem with the third respondent who was President Uru Kenyatta. No, you see what no, no, you're no. saying is... By the way, there is a decision of the court just the other day that has indicted the President, the Deputy President, and the entire Jubilee machinery for committing election offences under Section 14 of the Election Offences Act. But, the judgment well, is there. Uh, but, but is, is that according to the Supreme Court? And the Supreme Court said it could well, not address matter, that matter because there was an active but case on this, but in this, the High Court. And the High Court has made that We're talking finding. about a specific case. Yes. It was on the presidential election petition, yes. isn't it? On 1st September. On 1st September. One of the court did not blame the... No, 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 no. Did not blame the president. Go to the judgment, the majority judgment. They said they cannot make a finding on that matter because there is an active case. Mr. Uh, Mohammed, uh, with all due respect to my good friend uh, Magaya here, the, the issue here is this. He has, he has mentioned something called a monster. This monster is not the constitution. This monster is not the law. This monster is the presidency. The presidency is our monster. And if we must demystify the monster and put things as they are, what we require today, and I think I agree with the first person who sent that email. The first thing we have to do today is to demystify this monster and try to find a way of getting out of it. Because we scared this issue all through 2007. We scattered this issue. We went and said the Constitution is the problem. 
We said the, the electoral commission is the problem. We even brought a fellow from South Africa called Prof, uh, Professor Judge, uh, retired Judge Crickler. Mm. He came in here, told us the best way to do an electoral process is this way. We gave for three months of that work, the, 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 the report was written, it was uh, recommended, and the processes that have been going into reforming the electoral process seem to remain, according to me, were supposed to have been part of the recommendations of the curricular commission. How many years later? Ten years later. We are still in the same stuckers that we started off with. The reality is, the problem is this. Elections in Kenya have never, and I will tell you they will never, be fair and free. <laughs> because the processes, I'm not talking about an, an exercise at the parliament. I'm talking about the processes. Uh -huh. the, the now, the processes, before uh, my friend, Charles, yeah. Charles mm. the processes that we have, look at how many meetings, how many rallies the President Uru Kenyatta engaged in, in this repeat election. How many rallies? How much resources what went into this election? How many government functionaries were involved? How much money moved out of people's pockets and, and, and oil other people's pockets in the name of wanting to get a favorable election results. Now, election is not an act of one day. It's a process. Now, what Zamagaya is saying, this process was flawed. And the, the Uru side is saying this process was not flawed. So the monster in the room, the elephant in the room here, is not the processes. It is not the electoral commission. Is not the judiciary, mm -hmm. is not the law, mm -hmm. is not the constitution. It's what? It people. is a monster called the presidency. This monster called the presidency, if it does not set us a place today, it will one day set us a place. Because first and foremost, so what should happen? What should happen? Why do you blame it on the presidency? What, the presidency, because the presidency has become everything. Presidency, people look at. After in two, terms of uh, power, is that what you're saying? Power. So it's you, you Look, win? In terms of power, mm -hmm. the presidency has no equal. The presidency can go and take people who have lost elections, give them positions in the parastatos, make them chairman of positions, hire people to portray a process that may have been wrong. Today you will find people who ran on NASA ticket, all right? Because we don't have a political culture that ties people to political ideologies. There are two okay. issues here. One, as Kenyans, we forget too quickly once we get into our comfort zone. Yes. And two, the fact that we have problems, and the only problems when you look at it from across. I will take you back to 2010. People passed a new constitution. A majority said yes, a minority said no. The majority who said yes said, let us pass it. It has about 20% default. We will correct that when we cross over. At that time, we were saying we are going to have devolution so that the presidency does not appear like a monster. Mm -hmm. One way of demystifying that was correcting the 20% that was at fault in the Constitution. We didn't correct. When we got into positions of comfort, what did we do? We forgot. We forgot, about it. we forgot about the 20%. Yeah. And we're only thinking about it here. Again. Now Norman Magaya is uncomfortable. Mm. He's now thinking about the 20%. Now he wants us to change to these the things 20%. so that we accommodate the that 20%. That has not come from me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I don't mean but, but Norman okay. Magaya as an individual. Yeah, yeah. I mean the people, the <laughs> half but, but of the country so what, who are complaining. When, when you're talking about the presidents, what are you saying? We change the structure? We, as for example, as NCCK has proposed now. Let us look at this this way. Uh, uh, Hussein. In 2010, the constitution was going with something called a hybrid system. All right? This is what was recommended in, in, a, in this place called um, uh, Delta House. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. Where I was the public information and communication officer, deputy director. The committee On of experts. On the final day, mm -hmm. the whole issue was taken to Naivasha. And when it went to Naivasha. And who met in Naivasha? Mm -hmm. And who went in Naivasha? The political interests. Exactly. The politicians went to Naivasha. So is, it a problem of, so is it a problem then of individuals? It and is the politi political problem is 
Kenya's interested political interests at play today. Now, Mr. Magaya, with all due respect to what you want us to do, well, yes, there are people in this country who are seriously disenfranchised, all right? There are people in this country who feel very, very bitter about President Uru Kenyatta. There are people in this country who feel extremely bitter about Raila Odinga. They would not even want to mention his name. There are people who would describe Raila in a different and unprintable statement. Mm -hmm. There are people who do the same to Uru. The reason is they import a flawed political process, political uh, situation. This flawed political situation is not limited to Kenya. It okay. is a situation that has seen people in Zimbabwe wanting to manipulate the law to have the wife of a president become the heir apparent. We have seen people who use political power to address a situation where we can have people go to the court, to, to, to parliament, change our law to, make, to, to, limit the, to remove the limit of term of presidency. What we say is we have seen people go to court to change electoral laws yes. on the eve of a fresh presidential election. Yes. Okay. So, so clearly, clearly saying, according to you, this is, a, this is a problem of politicians, individuals, and their interests. It is, Regardless it is, of however it is, the law is amended or is nothing will change. Okay, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll, give you the, I'll, I'll give you the last one, Magai, after I read this to uh, this you SMS. Let's read this SMS, then I'll give you all uh, the final comments. Let's take a look at a few SMSs of what you've been saying on double two, four, double two. Uh, Mungai says, uh, we should avoid anarchy at all costs. Bitri says, why would NASA go to court last minute? All along they had indicated dissatisfaction with the IBC preparations to conduct the elections first. On 17th and 26th, NASA has not said they're going to court. Uh, Jacob, my message to the panel and the church, NCCK, I think that's what you mean. If they want the prime minister position and deputy to be created, then this time let them be elected on the ballot too. Okay. <laughs> Bigger problems. Kinyua, election is not the only problem facing Kenya. The starting point for solving problems in Kenya is an audit of the 2010 constitution to identify the gaps and challenges and formulate a way forward. Isaiah Lagat, IBC cannot be dismissed. Were MPs, senators, etc., properly elected as voters? Tired, not ready to vote. Okay, tired. They're tired, not ready to vote again. Okay. Uh, just saying hypocrisy clearly that the other positions were also nobody is contesting really the other positions although they are, they are individual petitions in court so the court cases uh, but James says the problem in Kenya is people who do not value the voter they use the voter as a tool yes. this thing about not recounting the ballots is wrong mm. okay and then finally I'll, I'll read a few more here uh, Ochiang in Mombasa, who's saying the mistake you all make is to collapse all our issues to legal straight jackets. Mm. We need a way out, we're in a hole before the way forward, and the law cannot help us. Uh, in Kitui South, Juma Mulingwa says, way forward, Uhuru should show leadership. He has been too cold for too long. Shei Gakaya, for, for Kenya, that's what he says, says, let us respect our institutions, uh, team, no more, no less. And somebody here who just uh, indicates the problems we have in this country. It says Hussein, let the IBC Commission be made of a chairman and a deputy chairman and all presidential candidates as commissioners. That is where we are getting out. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> your final round. Your yeah. final round of the American of course, yeah. the, the way the forward. Finally, yeah. The I'll American to electoral uh, uh, <laughs> body has uh, had liners from all the main political parties. I'm looking at a situation where we had we would have Magaya as a member of the IEBC and Tuju as a member of the IEBC. <laughs> then they meet there and because I'm sure if Tuju steals, Magaya will catch him. If Magaya steals, yeah. Tuju will catch him and shout. So that's that's a probable solution. And how do we achieve that? By looking at the twenty percent of the twenty ten constitution that we all agreed had a problem. We can do it now unless or, um, instead of waiting for a time when we are uncomfortable mm. but for me one question to the leadership how many more kenyans have to die haven't enough kenyans died since we started grumbling for the, uh, the independence of this country okay we'll take it i'll just repeat what i said before that uh, our leadership needs to respect one another they meet privately and enjoy themselves uh, dialogue is the only solution to this matter political dialogue because it's not, as we agree, it's not about law, it's not about constitution. It's about mutual respect and uh, the end of grandstanding. Yeah. From both sides. 
Norman? Um, I think what is very clear to us is uh, I don't think the president is, is, as an institution is a problem. I think we, what we must accept as a country, as a people, is that let's learn to conduct elections that are honest, free, fair, and credible. It won't matter then who wins those elections. Because even those who are contested will concede if the process has been fair. Well, my closing remarks is that we are in this for a long haul. We will not get away with it. They are about to see what they have not experienced before. We are not about to relent. And we will only sit down on a table to discuss on a framework of conducting free and fair election. Nothing more. Well, uh, I think, uh, Mohammed, um, we have been chasing and Raj in the name of free and fair elections. We have been chasing and Raj in terms of organizing ourselves in parties. We have seen parties that uh, uh, open shop for our elections, close shop when elections are over. Even before the next elections, they have closed shop and they have gone in elsewhere. Today we have Jubilee, we have NASA. Tomorrow we don't know which other party ministers we are going to have. The reality is politics in Kenya is about power. It's not about us, the people of Kenya. It's about the people who want to be in privileged positions. Whether they are in power or not, they want to be in privileged positions. And the problem is, because the presidency is everything in Kenya today, we are suffering because everybody wants the president. If you want to us to go to, to, to examine why the presidency is a problem, let us get another forum. We discuss it from independence. <laughs> from independence. The problem has been presidency. Because the president decides today I'm going to have... Uh, oh, what do you do? I mean, we have... No, just a moment. The presidency anyway. decides, like, today. Somebody would say in Jubilee that the Jubilee is no news, news Mukate. But when they sat down, uh, the deputy president and the president sat down it was to craft Mukate. it, was it not on Mukate? <laughs> now, the whole thing is, they, they when you have this and you get a whole community called uh, people from Nyanza, you, uh, you give them one minister. You give the old people from Western Province, you give them one minister. Then you go to the Rift Valley, you give about five ministers. You go to the Central Province, you give uh, several ministers. The problem is inclusivity, inclusivity. The problem is Kenya is a tribalist, tribal-based political system. So okay. every tribe that gets to power wants to address, organize itself around tribes. When they have a problem, they rally against their own. <laughs> and the only as you issue said, is that as you said, that's a, dis that's a longer discussion for another yeah, day. We but need thank a, you. We need to discuss it. And we'll definitely do and that. Discuss it to in detail and express uh, we'll because definitely, we'll we def sidestep the whole issue. We sidestep the major problem. We go around the whole <laughs> issue. We don't go to the bottom the, of the, the, the real issue. Okay. We'll definitely uh, find time uh, for that. But thank you so much. My final question, but the very brief answer. Norman, if somebody goes to court, because you're saying NASA is not going to court. If an individual or organization goes to court and ultimately the election is dismissed or nullified, will you participate or in the, in the next election that will be ordered if such a case happens? We have a framework in the form of the irreducible minimums. If they are met, we said we will participate in any election any day. Okay. So, so they're going to an election on their terms? Yes. Not on our terms. <laughs> the, yeah. Those yeah. things are not <laughs> outside the law. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, Norman. Then the, 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 what, you, what you're saying, law. Norman, what you're yes. saying, Norman, is if it somebody is goes to court mm. and, and challenges this election, and mm. uh, an individual organization, not necessarily NASA, mm. goes to court and challenges that election, mm. if that election is nullified, you will participate in the other election if your demands are met. Yeah, irreducible minimums. If, but if the if the playing field is, is level, levelized, yes, and you will participate any day, any time, and we will win. Okay, but yes. you're saying here again, you're saying you and don't you recognize the, the the result of no, the, no. the election listen, that has just listen, ended. That has just ended. Listen, there are two routes to send. If someone goes to court and the, and the election is nullified, well yeah. and good. But we've said mm. that we've taken our path, that we are hundred percent sure that we will have another election. That was said, but you have, me. I mean, if, yes, if, this is a court process and you're saying, no, man, you don't recognize what happened to, uh, on Thursday, last week, on 26th. If, if, so, if, if, if somebody goes to court and the election on Alpha, it just confirms our position mm. that what happened on 26 was not an election. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll it, have will to just, it. it will just be buttressing our position. We'll have, to leave it. More. we'll have to leave it there. But thank yeah. you so much, Norman Magaya, CEO, NASA Secretariat. The person who made, uh, according to Rafael Tuju, Secretary General, Jubilee Party, who was supposed to be in this show, said he could not sit with Norman Magaya. 
Normally we'll talk about that off air, but thank you so much for making time for us. I wish we could talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about it in the absence of Rafael Tudio, yeah, that's the can. problem. <laughs> Rafael Tudio says he cannot sit on the same platform with Norman Magai. Norman, thank you so much for making time for us tonight. And Gabriel uh, Vitalis Musebe, sorry, thank a you. veteran journalist, thank you so much for making time for us tonight. Our regular panelists, uh, Charles Odambo and Mutegi Jao, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I'm Hussein Mohammed. Have a good day.